Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And yes, it's like out with the old and in with the new. We've got new YouTube banners. We've got new ways of doing the intro and new ways of doing the thumbnails. Well, I thought, wow, if you're going to start again, start afresh. But these are the subscriber replays. And first off the bat, we've got Taranix of the clan TYFS. <laughs> rolling out in the TOG 2 HMS Toggington, the British Tier 7 heavy tank. It's a premium tank here on the EU server. Now, TOG 2 is in the stores as we speak. And I'm not Bushka, and I love the TOG. Good old HMS Toggington. You can pick this tank up with its funky dunky desert camo for a mere 2,500 gold. I mean, what is there not to like about the TOG? It's a, it's a battleship, <laughs> let's just put it that way. You are getting to play World of Warships in Blitz, realistically. That means you can watch the mighty jingles and me and all the others at the same time and still get really good tips. And you're not going to be in danger of being hit by a submarine. But anyway, I digress. The TOG is fantastic. It is just crazy madness fun. It's got awesome, awesome DPM, to be fair. I mean, look at the reload on this thing. It's, it's crazy. And it's got more hit, po more hit points than you could dream of. And okay, you've got the ass bigger than King Cardassian, and everybody's going to want a piece of it. And to be fair, they will, because whilst you're leaving spawn, your ass is still in spawn, and everybody's going to hit you. But hey, that's not the idea of this tank. The idea of this tank is just to roll it forward into the thick of the action, intimidate, intimidate the bejesus out of everybody, and have bloody good fun while doing it. And that's exactly what Taranix is doing. I mean, look, 1,300 damage. He's been on the front line. There's no point trying to hide. You're a tog. I mean, what's the point of hiding? You're bigger than the Ark Royal. So everybody's going to see you. And let's be honest. Your camo profile isn't the best, and why would it be? You're a battleship. But, like I said, the idea of this tank is to stick it in there, you know, get it up front like a mouse, and really let people farm your hit points. I mean, he's been there at the front, as you can see. Everybody's been farming off him effectively. He's, he's lost a third of his hit points, he's done 1400 damage, he's taken a kill, and he's just intimidated the heck out of the entire red team. This is how you play the TOG. And okay, he's not going to be going anywhere fast, especially when he goes uphill, even downhill with a stiff breeze behind you. You are not the mobilist of tanks. And you oh, look, <laughs> what a shot. Kill number two. 1700 damage now, hardly any hit points gone. He's got a shed load left. I mean, this is just how the TOG is meant to be played. And I love this tank. This tank puts me into giggle fits every time I play it. And it's even better when you go out in a tune of them because it's just crazy madness. And I love it. And there's nothing to hate about the TOG. And all you TOG haters out there, I don't understand you. And if you don't have the TOG, 2,500 gold you can pick this baby up for. Do it. What's there to think about? Just press purchase, get the TOG in your garage, and you will soon discover the joys of being the owner of a pixelated TOG 2. And believe me, you won't regret it. Okay, you won't take it out every day, but when you do take it out, you will just have a riot. And that is why I love this tank. Forget your missile tanks. Forget your smashers. This is... <laughs> it's just fantastic. I mean, that poor little Lippard just smacked the TOG. Okay, the Lippard's going to be able to run around the map, but it's a TOG. He just needs to stay there. They've got to kill him. If he really wanted to, he could roll into the bloody cap circle and, and win that way. It doesn't really matter. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love it. I mean, that poor little Lippard. He gets a few shots in. He's got a Wolverine with full HP. He's done 2,100 damage. The Lippard's trying to make a break for it. He's all on his Todd, bless him. He's, look at this. Oh, Toggy, Toggy, Toggy. <laughs> Come on, Toggy. You can do it, baby. No, Wolverine. No. Four kills. 2,149 damage. 660 bounced. 
a well deserved mastery and a steel wall in HMS Toggington. Next up, we have a good friend of mine, Wid1 of 49 Div, my clan, yay! Rolling out in the Proto Tipo Standard B, the Pan Euro Tier 9 medium tank on the EU server. Now, before any of you write in with comments saying, you don't pronounce that like that, etc., etc., look, guys, I barely, barely struggle to speak my own native language, English let alone a foreign language of any description, including Italian. So let's put that to bed now. Let's deal with the fact that I'm an ignorant Brit and, you know, we've now left Europe, so I don't need to speak a European language and get back to the standard B. Watch! Ammo rack for effect. Boom! 1,000 damage straight off the bat. And the game isn't even a minute old. What is there not to like about the standard B? Now, okay, a lot of you naysayers out there will say, oh, that was a lucky shot, Orin Jesus was on his side. Yeah, maybe, but who cares? He just ammo racked an AMX. <laughs> What's there not to like about the standard B? To be fair, I prefer the standard B to the Spaghettio, much like I prefer the T92 to the Sheridan, but that's just me, a uh, low object. Goodbye, object. Two kills, 2,385 damage. Oh, there's a Conqueror over there. There's an ST1 as well. What shall we go for, Wid boy? Ah, we're gonna go for the Conk. Why not? Hello, Conqueror. Boom, take some of that up your nose. Boom again, why not? Because I've got an auto-loading reloader. Boom, you've gone. Kill number three, 3,331 damage. That would have been, oh, hello, Death Star. Maybe once I've loaded, I can smack you with my standard B, Italiano, Tanko, bottom plate maybe. No, I'm just going to track you. That's so unfair. But you're going to go side on, which is so nice of you. Thank you very much for giving me those free hit points. I really, really appreciate it. Go, Mr. Legion. Help me out. Let them farm your hit points while I reload. I will be there in a moment. That says weird. Oh look, he's got T64, is it T54? T54 is on its way in to help out the AMX 30B, 50B, sorry, is going to go. There goes Legion. Here we go. Oh, was that a miss? Was that a bounce? What was that? Doesn't matter, he's gone now. Anyway, kill number four. 3,928 damage. Just the ST1 left, who, to be fair, has been on the A cap for the majority of the game. He has taken a kill, and he has taken a cap. But... Well, he's still there. He hasn't really moved. He's not really going to win the game because the other team, Wid's team, got free cap points. They're going to win on points anyway. It's supremacy, guys. You either take the bases or you kill them all. There is no draw. It doesn't work like that in supremacy. So, unfortunately, Mr. ST1, you, you should have out out, to be fair. You shouldn't have stayed there. But who am I to say what you should and shouldn't have done? You've got all your hit points. You're in a heavy tank. It was a bit selfish of you just hanging around. But not to worry, Wid comes along, take one on the, uh, up the nose, take another one in the nose. I'm going to go round you. No, I'm not. I can't be bothered because you're so slow. I'm just going to cat and mouse you. Unless, of course, you're the cat that I own. And it's more of a cat and moth or a cat and gecko. Either way, this is playing with your food, boys and girls. And it's very, very rude. And look at that. He finally loses some hit points. After all of that, four kills, 5,389 damage. What can I say? I mean, that was just fantastic and a wow deserved mastery from Wid in the standard B. Next up is Dubline of the clan fame, rolling out in the bat chat, the 25D Musketeer, the French tier 10 light tank on the NA server. Now, I must admit, I'm absolutely pants at playing all tanks. But I'm pansy playing this tank as well. And I've never really got used to it. I've had about four good games in it. And I've never really been a good light tank player anyway, preferring the big heavy monsters. And I only wish I could play the lights like this because this is a fantastic game. It really, really is. The blind here is just, well, he's just gonna give you a masterclass in how to play a bat chat. And I do like the bat chat. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I think it's fantastic. Once you get used to it, once you're used to its, its gun and its mobility, it is fantastic because you can get around the map 
and you can really put the pain on people in this little Frenchie. And I mean, look at this, the, the VK is side on, the blind may be able to get a sneaky shot in there. Look at this side on, he's still loading. If, oh, somebody killed him before he got to have a go. Not to worry, there's plenty out there. He's only done 300 damage so far, so he's, it, the game is in its infancy. It is not over yet. Plenty of targets out there. Both teams have lost. And now the bat chat is going to come into its own. <laughs> Here he goes. Throttle down, head down, ears back. Gun pointed forward. Hello, targets. Come and present for me. Because I'm a light tank and my camo's fantastic. Hello. Boom. Hello again. Boom, boom. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I can smack you and you can't see me. I'm just going to fire that one off and reload. I mean, I love this. I love this style of gameplay. This is like Fast and Furious for Blitz. Without Vin Diesel. And slightly more entertaining. In my opinion. I mean, I was never a fan of Fast and Furious. How did he on earth did he bounce that then? He just bounced 400 from a waffle tractor. He must have hit the barrel. I mean, that waffle tractor must be saying, Hey, how? Why? That was HE. I, well, I don't think it was HE actually. Oh, hello, Yeageru. You just stay there. I don't mind. I'm a bat chat. Oh, no, I've run out of shells. I've got to load. And now somebody's stolen the kill for the Yeageru. Darn it. That was two tanks that presented nicely that he wasn't able to capitalise on. Not to worry. I'll, I missed the Yeageru, so I'll settle for dessert of a waffle tractor. Which he does. 2,422 damage. And I'm still scratching my head over how on earth he bounced the waffle tractor earlier. The Waffle Tractor must have fired AP. There's no other explanation. He certainly didn't fire AG, that's for sure. Unless, of course, he hit the barrel. But it was going so quickly, I never noticed. So I'm just going to sit here in Kappa Base, says the blind. Why not? Get two cap points, then they've got no caps, and, you know, it's four against two. It's just the way it should be done. Hello, object. Oh, no, E100, you'll oh, attract you. That's not fair. Oh, I'm going to hide a bit. And you can see there, there's a badger moving in to take out one of them. Oh, they're all focused on the badger, leaving the bad chap far wide open. Oh, can he get a sneaky one? No, he can't. And the waffle tractor already knows it's a loss, even though it's three against two. He knows it's a loss. He knows that these two are just going to win. Oh, they're completely ignoring the bad chap, allowing the bad Oh, a low object. I'm just going to toy with you a little bit I mean, this is this is playing with your food as well i mean it's just just rude ah uh, just the e100 left so we <laughs> two tanks to go there's an e100 oh look at that grill saying nice shot i don't think the grill saying nice shot to the badger i think he's talking about the fb uh the badger hello e100 you keep your back turned to me that's what i'm gonna say there's 300 can we do another one yes we can can we do a final one just for effect yeah goodbye thank you for playing and by all means send your uh Send your corpse my way. Oh, and the Waffle Tractor is calling everybody a moron. So, 4,384 damage. He's bounced 460. I still don't know how. And he's taken three kills. And he's had a little bit of scratchage on his paintwork, but nothing to write home about. Now he's just going to say, hello, Chieftain Mark Six. Everybody's focused. The Badger, nobody's interested. Poor little Bat Chat. I'll just mop up. Oh, no, he won't. I will bounce. How disappointing. This allows the Badger to potentially mop up. Oh no, Badger's gonna, oh the battle finished anyway because they got points, oh. Shocking, criminal, robbed. What a fantastic game. I mean, that's a lovely mastery. That was Dublin being rather sublime, to be fair. Anyway, I've been Fujit. Those have been the subscribers replays of the week. Well, they haven't really, there's just been subscribers replays. Um, a big thanks to Taranix, Wid1 and Dublin. Thank you for sharing your replays. Like I said, I've been Fujit. Uh, by all means, send me your replays, email them to me, or join my Discord where you can uh, put them on there. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face, etc., etc. Comment and like and all the other things below. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, guys, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.